Hello everyone, my name is Michael and I'm a National Technical University of Athens Mechanical Engineer and a Cranfield Advanced Motorsport Engineer and today I'm going to be introducing my latest project called Open Lab. I've been involved in motorsport for my entire life. I've done karting, formula students, single seaters, super tourers, and lately I've worked as a data engineer in the BTCC, as a race engineer in the Lamborghini Super Trofeo Championship, and as a mission control engineer for, in Formula E. Uh, by creating Open Lab, I feel that I've been able to share my passion for motorsport and vehicle dynamics with the viewers and actually help you learn more about vehicle dynamics and lap time simulation specifically. I hope I'll be able to do this by filming videos explaining open labs functionality, by making the code open source so that you can get it, study the code, change it, and add any complexity you want to the models. Open Lab is a, um, an open source lap time simulation software coded in MATLAB that is licensed under the uh, GPL. Lap time simulation in general is a tool where you mathematically model a vehicle and you allow the computer to actually drive it around a specific circuit. And you can gain a lot of valuable information about things like loads, lap time, uh, performance, the vehicle's response, the vehicle's response to different setups uh, and stuff like that. Now, the key point to um, think about is that the computer always drives the car around uh, the circuit at the grip limit. You can see here a lot of pictures with uh, results from my transient simulations, my um, kinematic and uh, frequency response simulations. I'm showing this here because you need to understand that all of this is included inside a lap time simulation package usually, but open lap is much simpler. Open lap is simulating the vehicle as a point mass and uses a distance based solver. Now in open lap, you're going to be able to create vehicles. Um, you're going to be able to create uh, circuits, run straight line simulations for acceleration and braking, and you'll be able to run proper uh, lap time simulations. Your vehicles, are going to be created in open vehicle. Again, this is a point mass uh, modeling system, but it includes simple uh, tires, a uh, simple engine torque curve model, um, a simple drivetrain, and simple aerodynamics. To generate your circuits, you're going to be using open track, and open track includes closed and open circuits. You're going to be able to flip the direction or mirror the, um, the racetrack. Uh, you're going to be able to edit the, uh, the curvature and the shape, the elevation, the banking, modify the grip level of the racetrack specifically at each point. And you can also separate the track into sectors. Your circuits are going to be created from segments or use log data and generate the racetrack out of that directly. For the straight line simulations, you're going to be using open drag. It's a time-based solver this time, only includes longitudinal uh, dynamics. It, it doesn't include weight transfer, but you're going to be able to see the engine torque curve effect on the uh, performance, gear shift duration, which is interesting, and you, you can set speed traps, and all of that is going to be included in the reports that are automatically generated. Now. For the uh, open lab videos, you can check my um, YouTube channel and there are going to be six of them. This is the first introductory video. Uh, the next one is going to be about the basic steady state lap time simulation algorithm explanation. And then we're going to go through open vehicle, open track, open drag and open lap. To get open lap, you can go to my GitHub or uh, download the code from the MATLAB file exchange. Now let's go through a quick demonstration of the code. Going into MATLAB, here you see I have the four modules open. If you run open vehicle, it's going to read the Excel file and generate this model for you with the engine curve, the gearing, the traction model, and a GGV map that you can um, look around. This is a generic Formula One car that I've created. Then in open track, you'll be able to see the um, track model that is generated. Uh, it includes elevation, um, obviously the shape, um, inclination and stuff. And th this 
this track has been generated from actual data recorder from a real race car. Um, then in open drag, you can run your straight line simulations. Here in the command window, you can see the live results. And finally, in open lap, you'll be able to run proper lap time simulations. This is around SPA. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you find this interesting and stick with me throughout this series. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those below and thanks for watching.